Dive into the compelling world of a groundbreaking TV series that sparked conversations across households during its era. All in the Family, an emblematic show of its time, introduced audiences to characters that challenged societal norms and attitudes. Starring the iconic Hollywood actor Carol O'Connor, whose portrayal of Archie Bunker brought both laughter and introspection, the series confronted prevalent issues with humor and candor. Whether this series stirred your emotions or opened discussions around your dinner table, its impact remains indelible. Its ability to blend humor with societal commentary offered a unique lens through which viewers could reflect on their own beliefs and biases. The characters, their conflicts, and the show's unflinching approach to controversial topics made it a cultural touchstone. For many, reminiscing about this show triggers cherished memories tied to pivotal moments in their lives. Whether it's a shared laugh over a particular episode or a conversation that led to deeper understanding, All in the Family has left an enduring mark on its audience. What classic Hollywood actor in this series resonated with you the most? Or perhaps, has this series influenced or inspired you in a personal way? Share your stories and cherished memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear how this iconic show has impacted your life. All in the Family, an iconic television series from the 70 Seconds, revolutionized the landscape of American sitcoms. Developed by Norman Lear, the show originally aired in the early 70 Seconds and became a cultural touchstone. Centered on the Bunker family, it tackled societal issues with unflinching honesty, using humor as a vehicle to address topics like racism, sexism, and politics. The series' patriarch, Archie Bunker, portrayed brilliantly by Carol O'Connor, embodied a conservative, blue-collar worker whose views often clashed with those around him, particularly his liberal son-in-law, Mike Stivick, played by Rob Reiner. Archie's wife, Edith, affectionately known as Dingbat, and their daughter, Gloria, completed the core cast. The show's setting, primarily within the bunker's home, provided a microcosm of society, inviting audiences to confront uncomfortable truths and sparking important conversations. Its groundbreaking approach to discussing taboo subjects and presenting opposing viewpoints challenged the norms of television at the time. The witty writing and superb performances led by O'Connor elevated the series to critical acclaim, earning numerous awards and accolades. All in the family's impact on popular culture reverberates to this day, influencing subsequent sitcoms and leaving an indelible mark on television history as a trailblazer in addressing social issues through comedy. Its characters, memorable catchphrases, and daring storytelling ensured its enduring legacy, cementing its place in the pantheon of television classics. All in the Family, with its fearless exploration of contentious issues, remains a testament to the power of television in reflecting and shaping society. Vincent Gardenia, later known as Frank Lorenzo, made subtle entries into the show. His initial appearance involved selling a house to the Jeffersons, later followed by a role alongside Edith. Carol O'Connor and Gene Stapleton's delivery of the theme song changed slightly over time to clarify a puzzling line about an old LaSalle car. Meanwhile, Rob Reiner's fortuitous encounter with Mike Evans led to Evans' casting as Lionel Jefferson, despite initial doubts about his audition. These behind-the-scenes moments added unique layers to the show's evolution, bringing unexpected actors into pivotal roles, shaping familiar lyrics, and solidifying the ensemble's chemistry, which ultimately defined the series' enduring charm. All in the Family, a groundbreaking TV series, etched its mark in television history across 15 years with spin-offs like Maude, Good Times, and The Jeffersons. In a striking moment, an episode's argument forecasted Reagan's 1980 win. Initially taped live, the show switched to taped recordings but retained live audience reactions, altering the end credits voiceover. This shift, highlighted by Carol O'Connor and Gene Stapleton's live rendition of Those Were the Days, marked a notable change in the show's production approach, capturing the essence of societal evolution on screen. The first toilet flush in American primetime television was heard on this show. The scene caused quite a stir back then, breaking a significant taboo on TV. 
It was a daring move indicative of the show's willingness to challenge norms and tackle controversial topics. This moment reflected the series' commitment to realism and its unapologetic approach to addressing societal issues. Such bold decisions helped cement its place as a groundbreaking show in television history, pushing boundaries and paving the way for more candid storytelling on screen. Rob Reiner, despite his liberal views, confessed that Carol O'Connor, who portrayed Archie Bunker, leaned even more left politically. This fact contrasts the misconception that the show leaned right, considering the crew's predominantly liberal leanings. Interestingly, during certain story arcs, both Carol O'Connor and Sally Struthers staged boycotts for better pay, affecting the storyline differently due to their character dynamics. The series' absence of background music in most episodes stood out among other taped sitcoms, showcasing Norman Lear's distinct production style. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the show's dynamics and production choices, challenging assumptions about its political stance and showcasing unique aspects of its production. Carol O'Connor, the actor behind Archie Bunker, played a pivotal role not just in front of the camera but behind the scenes as well. Throughout the production, O'Connor clashed with Norman Lear, the show's creator, on multiple occasions. He engaged in bitter disputes, staging boycotts for better pay, and even resorting to contract holdouts. O'Connor, a writer himself, took liberties with Archie's dialogue, sometimes with Lear's approval, sometimes not. Their creative differences went beyond the script. O'Connor sued Lear for royalties from the Jeffersons, a spin-off of All in the Family, claiming what he believed was rightfully his. The tension between the two showcased the challenges faced during the show's production, shedding light on the complexities behind the iconic series. O'Connor's influence extended to rewriting Archie's lines and engaging in legal battles, adding an intriguing layer to the show's narrative. This dynamic between the actor and the creator offers a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes drama that played out off-screen, influencing the direction and dynamics of the groundbreaking 1971 TV series. These conflicts, far from overshadowing the show's success, underscore the intricate interplay between creative minds and the realities of the entertainment industry. The clashes between O'Connor and Lear, both on creative and financial fronts, reveal the intricate dynamics that fueled the production of All in the Family, giving viewers a perspective beyond the sitcom's humorous facade. It's a reminder that, like the Bunker family's on-screen clashes, real-life conflicts contributed to the show's complexity and enduring legacy. As we bid adieu, let's drift back to the days when television narratives were a reflection of our own familial intricacies. That 1971 series, etched in the cultural tapestry, illuminated the raw, unfiltered essence of human connections, sparking laughter, contemplation, and maybe a touch of discomfort in its unflinching honesty. It's fascinating how those characters, Archie, Edith, and the rest, etched themselves into our lives, becoming not just fictional personas but mirrors reflecting our own idiosyncrasies and familial dynamics. Perhaps you chuckled at Archie's quips or found solace in the wisdom hidden in Edith's simplicity. Maybe it was the confrontational nature of its storytelling that left an indelible mark or the moments of profound truth that struck a chord. Whether it's the uproarious laughter echoing through your memory or the poignant instances that linger, your experiences with the series are a testament to its timeless impact. Your recollections, musings, and ponderings on the show its relevance, impact, or even its limitations are like fragments of a larger, shared reminiscence that continues to evolve with each retelling. So, dear reader, let's reminisce together. Share your cherished moments, the scenes that touched your heart, or the ones that still make you chuckle. Let's paint a canvas of collective memories woven around the essence of that unforgettable show. Thank you for your time, for walking down the nostalgic lanes, and for allowing the echoes of the past to resonate within. Your thoughts and memories enrich this collective tale we weave.